Number four, consult your intuition. The fears are going to be loud, okay? But if I silence my fears for a moment, what does my gut tell me about what to do? Do I feel, if I silence my fears, do I feel happily pulled into my future by doing this? Right, because I'll probably teach this later on today, but I want to explain the difference. Th there's two voices going on in, in, inside your head. There's one that's very loud. You can't do this. I mean, what might happen? This, you're making a mistake. You're not good enough. This is not for you. Blah, 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 blah. And then, Underneath all the noise, all the loud noise, there's a whisper. I believe in you. I'm bringing you this because you asked for it. You can do anything you set your mind to. You've got everything it takes. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. What's the difference between the two voices? You tell me. What's, which voice is which? What's that? Hope versus fear, exactly. This loud voice that is non-supportive non is the ego. Remember we talked yesterday? The ego wants to keep you soft, uh, small and safe. Safe perceived safety, doesn't want you to grow. This is the ego. This small voice underneath that believes in you, that's benevolent, that loves you. Who is this? It's the divine. You can call it your intuition. You can call it the divine. You can call it your higher self, your deeper knowing, your heart. The pro the, most people don't listen to this because this is so loud. And this is the tape that goes on in your head. You know what I'm talking about, right? I don't have to explain this to you too much. And it, is, it really takes a skillful person to be able to silence their fears and their ego for a minute and say, what do I really want? What do I really want? And if fear were not real, what would I do? And if I could figure out a way to afford this or to find the time, would this be beneficial for me? and consult your intuition.